channel about cross stitch and diamond painting, but mostly cross stitch. I've been away for a bit. I think my last video was still a couple of weeks ago, and it wasn't, um, it was like the kitted up stuff. Um, I have an update video coming soon, I promise. I've just been really busy. Um, yeah, so right now, well, this is Butter. For those of you who haven't, or if you're new here and you haven't met him, I've shown him a couple of times in my video, but he's really clingy and just wants to be here. So I have 9% on my phone, so we're going to try to get this done. Look what came in the mail today. <laughs> I am so excited about this. As usual, my box always comes beat up from them. I don't know why. It just does like this. You know so and this is a big box this is bigger than the previous one so i'm so excited for it oh no butter he just about knocked you guys down this one i think the tape is like in one singular piece like they wrapped it You take it off the bottom and you're fucking crooked because he knocked this door. Can you quit? Here, go play. So we have this giant freaking box. The only thing I know is what the pattern looks like because they released it in the group. So if you don't get these boxes, you probably don't know. This is the retreat in the box from the Black Needle Society and this is the Frogwarts Year 2. I did get the Year 1, so if I remember and I figure out how to do it, I'll put the eye thing, whichever direction it goes. And if not, I'll try to remember to link it below. If not, you can go back to my um, videos or search it in my thing. This is the second one. So I thought these were going to be more condensed, like two a year at least. They're not. They're doing one a year. And I just hope that in five more years I am still stitching so that I can collect them all. And I hope there's a coffee cup in here and another t-shirt, but I don't know because that's what we got in the first one. So here is the... The information card with the Chamber of Secrets door on it. I'm not going to read anything on the inside of it because I don't want to know. Here is the um, Instagram photo challenge that they always do, which I never participate in because I'm not that organized. Stop being a weirdo. Quit. So this looks like a pillow cover, which I'm not a big fan of. I would much prefer a t-shirt, and it doesn't look like there's a t-shirt in here, but that's fine. I just might have to use this because it's Harry Potter themed. And I will fully support artist recreations of Harry Potter, but I no longer support the Harry Potter brand on its own, if that makes sense. Um, if you know, you know. If not, then you're not a huge fan. Quit being weirdo. This is what it looks like. It is a pillow cover. So this is the burrow and it's got um, the sign car. The burrow, if you don't know, is the Weasley's house. And I'm pretty sure this is Katie's art. It just says there's no place like the burrow. Um, from my, what I can recall correctly, um, Katie puts forth all the art on here. I might be wrong, but I'm making that assumption and it opens and you put a pillow form in here I just might do this the only thing is that it's super green and that would that look weird like sitting on my couch like that I don't know with these pillows but it look out of place we'll see so lots of crinkle paper there's some things in some bags and we have fable vans which quit I'm not a big fan of this type of thing either, but um, I have been getting irritated with my hair when I'm putting my makeup on, and I've been wanting to get something like this to put my makeup on. So this is the clock from the Weasley's house. Stop it, cat! With the spoons and everybody's names on it, or pictures, and um, this one has initials, and then it says like home, dentist, prison, uh, Quidditch, etc. And it's just like a little head thing. This is from a company called Fable Bands. I don't know if this is custom or something else. So let's see what else there is. A 
um, glycerin soap. This is rubber ducky bar soap. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Arthur Weasley. Scent of Mr. Bubbles. So this is like a handmade type of um, soap. Super cute. This is really cute. My kids are going to like this. I don't particularly care for this, but thank God that I have kids. So there's no t-shirt in here. I'm sad about that. Ugh. I don't think that's a shirt. Okay, so Polly Kiss Potion Tea. Interesting. Naturally caffeine free. Contains fresh apple pieces, hibiscus, rose hips, blueberries, and butterfly pea. What is that? I don't know, but this looks so freaking cool. I think this is something they curated themselves. Not sure. I'll have to look at the card to see, but I love the jar. This will make a good makeup jar as well. And it's just loose tea. So you will need, oh wow, that like, that smells like candy. Can you see that? I don't know if I'd enjoy this type of tea. Maybe iced. I'll have to steep some and see what it tastes like. But if not, it's a cute decorative piece as well. So let's see what we have here. Look at the wax seal. Oh my God, I freaking love it. It's the Hogwarts crest. I wonder if they did these all individually or if they bought them pre-made and glued them on. This is like sealed in a crazy way. What is this? The original beading minder from its skull charm. Remove this from bag, take off protective film and put it in the plate. Use the magnet to attach to project. Sprinkle with beads and stitch. From its charm school. What is this? Oh, it comes with a little bag. How cute. So this one has spiders on it. If you, I'm not going to bother explaining because if you're a true Harry Potter fan, you will know. And the magnet has a black rose on it. Isn't that freaking cute? And then the remove disc thing is in here. It's like you, if I can get this thing out. My phone's gonna die before I even take this out of the damn package. I can't get it out right now, but it's in here, this little circle, and you put it inside of here and it makes it sticky so that you can put beads or whatever to do beading. It might not, I think I'll try to just use it as a regular needle minder because the projects that I do have beads on are way too many beads to use something this small. Then we have another package with another wax seal on it. Let's see. I hope this isn't too rushed. Oh, this one has a different. This is Owl Post Service. How cute. Um, I'm going to try to save these seals. My phone's probably going to die. What is this? Oh my god, it's a mirror with Gilderoy Lockhart on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. And it's just a mirror. You can see where I have you propped all ghetto and myself. Isn't that freaking crazy? <laughs> this is funny. This is huge too. Like, it fits my whole hand. That's a cute thing. I don't necessarily say that I like, well, this isn't something that I would have bought on my own. This is probably a cup. I'm going to save that for last. Ooh, here's what's in this green bag. Interesting. A piece of jewelry. Maybe not. Whoa. So this looks like, I don't know, the Monster Book of Monsters maybe? No, that was in number three. The Diary. With the um, basilisk fang. And it's like um, floss holder keychain um whatever you want to do with it i might just hang this up somewhere because it's really cute and really freaking heavy i don't know if i'd want to hang my floss on this because of the weight but i like it it's really cute there's something else small in here oh thread drops these are names of different potions in harry potter so we have scaligro if you know you know Mandrake Restorative Drought. Again, if you know, you know. Phoenix Tears. That's rare. 
Holly Juice Potion, a biggie. And the flu powder. Are these freaking cool. I love these. These are awesome. I really love the decorative aspect of them. They're so cute. So some type of floss. Let's see what we got. These are the same um, boxes from the first one and the same um, labels. Color and cotton. And we've got sherbet lemon, cinnamon, butter beer, soap, that's funny, and black pepper. Ooh, I love that. That's a nice. Actually, it doesn't look variegated at all, but it is a nice gray. It looks like, oh yeah, it is variegated. You can see. So these are very subtly variegated. This is a type of variegated thread that I like for everyday stitching because it's not like hardcore variegation. My phone's dying so I can't even see the right, what you look like correctly. Then we got, looks like only one more thing in here. Oh no, there's a couple more things. Oh my gosh, there's a big giant project bag. It's probably 15 by 11 or so. And it's like got BB mandrakes all over it from Herbology. With Professor Sprout. Oh my gosh, that's freaking cute. I love this. And I'm assuming that Katie also drew this because, again, I'm assuming, making the safe assumption that she draws pretty much all the artwork for this. So I'm going to take the last two things out and put these things back. I might run out of time to go over the card with you guys, but I'll insert that later because my phone's going to die. So here we have a howler. And it says it's a needle minder year two from Frogworth. And it got a little bit of Mrs. Weasley's um, saying from the Howler. It has my name on it, so I think this is another custom one. I don't even know what, I, what project has the first one on. Yep. And it is a Howler. Oops. You can see like the envelope with the mouth and the tongue. And it has Amy on it. So the first one, I have, uh, the other one was a wooden one. That one came freaking cool too. Had also my name on it. So that's year two. Then we have Borgen and Burke's Purveyors of the Dark Arts. 721 Nocturne Alley. That's the address. Oh yeah, I knew it and it matches the first one. It's the same style. I hope that they bought enough of these for all seven years because I'm going to be sad if they don't make this style of mug in a couple of years and it changes to a different mug. So you can see all the custom artwork. Again, I'm like 99.9% .9 positive this is all Katie's original hand-drawn artwork that you will not find anywhere else. Harry and Hagrid and more shops you've got it looks like mrs weasley and Ginny, and then another shop here i can't read this is a flourish and blots and like oh that's gilderoy lockhart in there oh i freaking love it look at how freaking the art on this one just pops i love the stack of cauldrons right here oh drinking out of this tomorrow then the last thing is the pattern so this is what it looks like, the chart. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. The first one is in the same style. It's the same size, the same dimensions. I think they were discussing using the same floss family group for all of these, but again, I don't know. Um, I'm not 100% sure. It's gonna be hard to wait seven years to want to stitch all of these and then to like be able to find all of that fabric you have to buy it all up front um because i, I don't know I, I just haven't decided yet i think i might just do them on um buy all the fabric now my cat buy all the fabric now and just save it for later when i start stitching these anyway um i really like this one more than the first one it just I love this right here. This just makes it right here. It looks freaking gorgeous. So yeah, there it is. I will also be getting a digital version because they are nice enough to send you a digital version if you want one, if you bought it. Hey everybody, so 
editing me coming back and doing this my hair is the same but it's a couple days later um i'm going to talk about the card because my phone died when i was filming it the other day and it just messed it all up so when you order from the retreat in the box you get this and this is the fragrance year two i think i saved the first one I'm actually not 100% sure. If I did, it would have been on my bookshelf, and I think that's what this box is right here, is all the books that are on my bookshelf. Um, but I had to buy a new shelf because that shelf broke. Um, and I just realized that the shelf doesn't match any of the furniture that I have in here. So I think I'm gonna have to find a different location for it because I was originally gonna put it here um, next to this outlet. Right there, there's space there, put it here. Um, because I need to put my patterns and stuff on it and I don't think it's gonna match it matches my table But the tables in the kitchen and not in the living room where all the things are black and brown. I Digress anyway um, The card so I think I mentioned this a little bit ago is that there is um, The Instagram photo challenge I never do these because I'm just not responsible enough to do that so whatever it is what it is but you it tells you this is blurb about them and I don't know if this yeah it changes so they talk about um, the curating of the box and and it being the second box and about the digital retreat um, it has the email and everything and then it tells you um, the exact details of the digital retreat and then it tells you in detail what's in here the only thing that I, and i've said this several times and i think i've gotten three or four of the retreat in a boxes um two of them being the harry potter box is that i wish um they put prices on here i really wish that they did because i myself want to know if this is even valuable for what we pay for it so this Harry Potter box, if I recall correctly, it's like double the price of the first one. And when I saw the price, I almost didn't get it because of how expensive it is. And given the way things are going right now with everything skyrocketing, I imagine that the third box is going to be even higher. Um, and it was the same for, I think, the subscription boxes as well. The price jumped up significantly. And for me, especially with the subscription boxes, because it's a mix of like lifestyle and other items, I just didn't find it valuable enough for me. Um, but the Harry Potter one, given that everything's Harry Potter themed, I kind of feel a little bit better about it. Um, anyway, so prices. So if you guys are watching, I would really love um, retail prices on here. So everything that you get in the box, you get the Howler Needle Minder, which is curated by the Black Needle Society. This is a custom needle minder. You get the Every Flavor Floss, which I love that they kept the pillow boxes the same. Mine's all discombobulated. You get that by Color and Cotton. You get the Burrow Pillow Cover, which is this one, designed by Karen Leopold. You get the Weasley Clock Headband. Isn't particularly something that I care for, but I can use it um, when I'm showering, um, like putting makeup on and stuff. So that's cute, and I love the Weasley Clock. I wonder if they make those for real. I mean, obviously they don't work like that, but you know what I mean. You get, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck soap? Will Mr. Weasley ever know the answer to this? This is that, and again, if you don't know the references, you should probably read the book and then you'll understand. So this is by, oh, hold on. This is by Kiko Sanchez by Fable Bands, and this is from Witch's Bath. Then you have the Infrequent Fluor Mug, this, which is designed, obviously, by the Black Needle Society. Um, Lockhart pocket mirror, which is what was in this thing. I'll take it out again so you guys can see it. So you have Gilderoy Lockhart on there. He almost looks like Prince Charming right there. And it's like kind of a squishy type of thing. And there's the mirror. Well, not squishy, but it just, it's nicely made. I'll say that. Um, Greenhouse 3 party project bag, which is this giant 
project bag. I the, My problem with the giant project bags is that they don't fit. Let me show you guys. You see these bins here? <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. I gotta get one that's not like super tightly bound. These bins, they don't fit in these bins. They don't fit standing up because they're too tall and they don't fit um, this way because they're too long. And so that's my thing is because that's my storage is these bins. And so these never fit in these bins. And so this has to house an extraordinarily large project in order for me to justify using it. But I love the idea of it. This would be good for travel too. Um, I can see maybe putting toiletries in here. So there's that. This is designed by Mandrake of the Month Club. What is Mandrake of the Month Club? I'm gonna have to look at that and see what that is. This is really well made too. I have to say, after getting several of their boxes, I think every single one comes with some type of project bag. And in the last, the Fall Into Stitching box and this box both had a pillow cover. So those are kind of themes of them is pillow covers and project bags. Um, then we have the Poly Juice Potion Tea, which for me is going to be probably more of a decorative piece than anything. It smells really good, but I don't, I really just like plain black tea, not any type of flavory type of stuff. So there is that. I love the way it came. It's super cute. This is curated by the Black Needle Society. Then we have the Aragog's Web Beading Minder by... It's charm school, which is in here, and it's got a sticky thing that you put, um, it says remove dust from bag, take off protective film and put in put use magnets to attach to project for beading. Now, I don't have any projects with small amounts of beads to justify using something this small, but I like it still. It's really cute. I might just use it as like a pattern weight. Um, but it has little spiders in it and it's got a little stinky tab that goes you have to take the peeling off and you put it inside of there I have a couple of memorabilia maybe I'll use it for that and looks like a like it's a bottle this thing is hard to get out of the little holder though so there's that and then you have riddles diary thread ring and jewelry I don't know why it says and jewelry I guess because you can take the diary off and put it on something else so that's what it looks like it's super freaking heavy so I don't imagine that you would want this on your thread I don't know we'll see then we have potion label thread cards which were these they were so cute um, designed by Tim Barron or Beeren this was curated by the Black Needle Society. And then we have the Band 2 sampler, which is also designed by them. So that is it. That is everything that came in the year two box. I'm thoroughly pleased with it. Um, you know, I just doubled the length of this video by talking about everything, going over it all again. But the first part of the video gets my initial reactions, which is what matters, right? So, you know. I want to keep the wax seal. I'll figure out something to do with that. I just think it's really cute. And the same thing for the log heart thing. I think my daughters are going to end up taking this because I don't use mirrors anyway. But I like the wax. I'll figure out something cool to do with those. So anyway, you guys, that is it. That's all the stuffs for this. I'm going to recycle all of these boxes, which is what I do. And that's it. Like I said, I'm thoroughly pleased with everything and happy that the box is finally here. And I can't wait for year three. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later.